gets it to the other Raymond Cregan to Bernie Hartigan with the ball blocked down Bernie does get his stick to it Bill Cullen Pat Delaney Pat Delaney being chased now by Sean Foley still Pat Delaney Pat out now and on the right wing to Liam O'Brien coming across is Eamon Cregan Eamon Bryan is there Liam O'Brien still there into Mick Crotty Crotty has it now 30 yards out high and it is gone over the bar for a point and the sides are level for the fifth time in the game Crotty the scorer of that one 30 minutes gone in the first half and Kilkenny a one goal and five points that is eight points and Limerick are eight points five times they've been level and never I think more than a point or two between them Pat Hartigan's puck out to Brother Bernie. Intended anyway, but Pat Lawler is penalised for pushing Bernie in the back, and there's a free for Limerick. Richie, the sharpshooter, Bennis to take it. this man is Richie Bennis the scorer his fifth point of the game and the score now Limerick nine points Kilkenny one goal and five Limerick leading by one point 31 minutes gone and here's Frank Coman 70 yards out in towards the goal the battle of the big fellas again but the ball goes back in and a little bit of shakiness there as Pat Hartigan in his well there's a free in the ball has gone out for a 70 but I think the referee has awarded a no he hasn't he just had his hand up there calling for the ball uh, Pat Hartigan making sure that Jim Lynch didn't get the ball let it go back towards Seamus Horgan I don't think Seamus was sure it was coming and it went off his stick out over for a 70 and told Pat Henderson to take it Dropped down by Richie Bennett. Out to Sean Foley, who's over on the far wing now. Up it goes to Lima Donahoe. In it goes to Joe McKenna. From 70 yards from his own goal. Way down the field. Ned Ray is under it. Nicky Orr has it now. Nicky Orr and Mossy Dowling. Nicky Orr with the hurley has the advantage. He hasn't got the ball, however. Mossy Dowling up to Lima Donahoe. Out there, too is Brian Cody Brian Cody trying to get out of the can the ball comes in now to Joe McKenna Joe McKenna coming across into the centre it's high and it is wide what a lovely bit of hurling that was that ball coming way up the field with a series of nicely placed passes but it all came to naught as the ball went wide and the score remains Limerick 9 points Kilkenny 1 goal and 5 9 points to 8 Frank Cummins. Still Frank Cummins going up field, being chased now by Richie Bennis, or by Phil Bennis. And Frank again with Elka Hurley across to Mick Crotty. Out comes Jim O'Brien. Crotty is shot it over the bar. Over the bar and a little bit of uh, shouldering between Willie Moore and Mick Brennan there, but uh, all is well. The score is level again at nine points each and that makes one six to nine points if you like one six for Kilkenny and about uh, 34 minutes or so gone this is Limo Donahue Ned Ray trying to keep it in play he can't he's fouled and there is a free in Ned Ray who is playing a very fine game not only in his own right but distributing the ball to his forwards pushed and uh, well shall we say he didn't get up too quickly not that there was anything wrong with him there's a Kilkenny defence and here is the man who's going to take the free Richie Bennis 21 yard line here it is now and he's satisfied to tap it over the bar for the lead for Limerick again after almost 35 minutes of play Limerick one goal or Limerick correction 10 points to Kenny one goal and six and six of those 10 points were scored by Richie Bennis and all of three no 
Holt in. For Frank Tommen. Coming in now, Brian Cody. Brian out to this side of the field. Doss Dunn and Jim O'Brien going for it together. Sean Foley coming in. Nick Trotty after him. Sean Foley up now to Eamon Bryan. Jim O'Brien, the ball crawling up his back there. Eamon Bryan, but Jim O'Brien is still after him. How lovely bit of wholehearted hurting by Pat Henderson. But it's Richie Bennis now for Limerick. Down through the centre. Ned Ray with the ball in his hand. A shot of the point. Ned Ray, what a wonderful game he's having for Limerick at full forward. Limerick 11 points, Kilkenny 1 goal and 6, 2 points between them and less than 5 minutes left in the first half. Bill Bennis and Pat Broderick. Pat Lawler all alone. And here comes Kilkenny attacking again. These short passes of Limerick, the way they always seem to find a Limerick man. Frankie Nolan, and they're trying this low one into Ned Ray again, but he slips and he's recovered. He's beaten two Kenny men. He's got it in front of the goal. The goal skater is there. The great Noel coming out now with the ball stuck in his hurley. And here he comes with one of these great Noel skiing clearances. And two players down injured, down on our left here, and one of them is Massey Dowling, the other is Noel Skeen, and the referee is writing uh, Massey Dowling's name in his book and telling him no back pulling, there was a bit of back pulling as the ball was gone there, back pulling which involved Noel Skeen who is limping away there Limerick men appealing that Noel was also a culprit, but the referee very adamant that, in fact, it was Bussy Dowling who did the back pulling. Liam O'Brien with the Kilkenny free. Into the goal mode, Seamus Horgan, well protected by his backs, and getting the ball out, but bringing it out, still bringing it out. Close done. And the referee penalising the Limerick backs for holding, and there's a free in for Kilkenny. We're in the closing moments of the first half. Cross done to take the free. About 10 yards in from the far sideline. It's high, and it is over the bar for a point for Kilkenny, scored by Cross Dunn. And if Eddie Kerr can send them over from Freeze, so too can Claus Dunn. Four points from Freeze by Claus Dunn. The score, Limerick 11 points, Kilkenny 1 goal and 7. And we make it just over two minutes left in this first half. Tony Hartigan. Joe McKenna going on to it, but beaten by Bill Cullen, who ran into Joe over there. And this is Eamon Grimes. Pat Broderick coming down after him. Pat getting the ball, but where does it go? But Eamon Cregan. Intending to feed the left wing, but the man who's taking the feeding is an opponent, Pat Lawler. Pat Broderick. Bill Bennett nipping in here now. And this is Liam O'Brien with that dangerous lobbing ball. It's, mm, dangerous is right, but it did go wide. About a minute left in this first half. One point between them. Limerick leading by this one point, 11 points to 10. 11 points to 1-7. This is Brian Cody trying to shake off Liam O'Donoghue. Succeeding. And the referee calling for the ball and awarding a free to Limerick. Liam catching the ball twice as he went up the field there. And Richie Bennett to take a free. You can see just outside the 70-yard line. And when Richie comes up to take a free, no matter where it is, you begin to wonder, is it going over the bar? It's knocked down by Noel Skeen. Pat Henderson 
Eamon Grimes, and it's over the bar by Eamon Grimes. Eamon looking a little bit disgusted that he didn't bury it in the back of the net, but with a man like Noel Skeen in there, you can't I really think you're going to do that too often. Limerick, 12 points, and that's the proof. No goal, 12 points. Kilkenny, one goal and seven. And we're at the halfway stage. Coming up now to the halftime whistle as Pat Broderick almost gets the ball from the puck out, doesn't. Bernie Hartigan to Eamon Grimes. Eamon from 70 yards out. And Ned Ray doesn't keep it in play. It goes wide. Referee looking at his watch checking down to one of his umpires who has given him the signal that the half time has come and when this ball is pucked out we will have the half time whistle and there it is the half time whistle and so at half time in a closely contested game Limerick lead by 12 points to Kilkenny's one goal and seven 12 points to one goal and seven and the crowd showing their appreciation of the hurling that these men have served up in atrocious weather conditions.